Okay, in this video, it's going to be pretty short and I'm just going to explain to you the basic structure of a Laravel application. So from the previous video, we created a new application inside of our sites folder and we called this application. So I'm going to open this up and then I'm going to just explain the basic structure of a Laravel app. So first up, we have the app folder and this contains a lot of our application logic, such as our models and our controllers. We then have the bootstrap folder and this contains some files needed to bootstrap our application. You don't really need to know too much about this because you really won't be modifying anything in this folder. Then we have the config folder and this contains configurations for your application as well as other composer packages. Next is the database folder and this folder contains a lot of the migrations and seeds that we will go over in a future video. So this will contain a lot of the data for your database inside of this folder. Next is the public folder. And in this folder contains a lot of the CSS, JavaScript, and images that are publicly available in your application. Next is the resources folder. And this contains a lot of your views and your HTML templates. We then have our routes folder, and this is how you define your routes. So in this folder contains files where you define routes for your application. And we will go more into this in the next video. Then we have the storage folder. And the storage folder contains a lot of our application logs and some of our caching mechanisms for our application. Then we have tests, and this is if you want to run some tests to ensure that your application is running correctly. And finally, we have the vendor folder. And the vendor folder contains all of the files that we pull in from Composer. So when we do Composer install, we are actually pulling a lot of the PHP files from a third-party package and then pulling them into this folder. And then the other files, you really don't need to worry about many of these other files here. Maybe the one that I do want to talk about is the composer.json file. And this file contains all the packages that we have specified that we want to install in our application. Don't worry, you don't have to memorize this because we will be learning more about Laravel and you'll be familiarizing yourself with the Laravel file structure as you continue to build more apps with Laravel. I just wanted to give you a quick overview on the file structure of every Laravel application. So let's go ahead and jump into the next video where I'll be showing you how we can define routes for our application. Hey, thanks for checking out this video series on Laravel 7 Basics. Uh, I just wanted to say thanks for watching this series and I also wanted to ask you to give me a follow on Twitter at T-N-Y-L-E-A. I also wanted to take just a second and let you know about one of my courses that I created called SAS Adventure. And you can visit it at sasadventure.io. And this is a 21 day program that will teach you how to create your own software as a service using the Laravel framework. So if you wanna support me, go ahead and uh, check out my course at sasadventure.io and I will see you in the next video.